I'll be conducting a good 30 minutes session wherein first 20 minutes I will be guiding how your uh, interview might look like and then towards the last 10 minutes I will take any doubts that you all have okay so the first thing is that um, all of you congratulations first of all for reaching at the stage where you are either going and visiting PwC Delhi office the Mumbai office. Um, now, uh, those who have um, already got their dates, I think all of you have got their dates. So basically, uh, generally, it, uh, it just quick quick uh, question: uh, Have they given you two days or one day of um, session in PwC? It's two days or one day. Yes, anyone? Two days. Two days, OK. So ideally, it is of two days, where in the first day, uh, you have to go to their office. Firstly, it's very warm. And uh, the people are really nice over there. So uh, you have to be very formal. And at the same time, have a very friendly uh, tone. Um, dress up really nicely. When I say dress up really nice, since it's also winters, so girls can wear formal shirt, uh, carry a formal blazer. It can be smart formal uh, blazer also, not necessarily uh, proper uh, formal blazer. Semi-formal will also do. And pants. And make sure you have proper, it can be maybe you're wearing uh, stilettos or heels, whatever, but make sure it's uh, decent, right? And since you all are traveling so those who are going directly from airport to the office you all can uh, take your bags obviously not an issue right similarly and make sure your hair is properly kept same applies to boys uh, you should wear proper shirt proper blazer and pants uh, when i again say blazer it not need not necessarily be a proper formal blazer but then again it should look a formal uh, blazer so this is uh, what you need to wear. Uh, be very friendly and at the same time, have a friendly touch to yourself. Uh, keep smiling. Very nice uh, a presentation you should keep. Uh, and then after that, what you might expect in these two days. So first day, generally, what they will do is uh, they will first might ask you to write an article. So they will give you, let's suppose they give you one, one and a half hours in which first 15 minutes will be some reading. So they will give you some articles, some magazines, and they'll give you one topic or one situation. You have to quickly go through as much as information you can and maybe jot down a few things, which they may or may not allow. And then next 40 minutes will be wherein you will be writing the entire article. Um, so make sure your handwriting is not very bad. It's legible. Secondly, it should be only in English. You cannot use any Hindi sentence or when I say any um, a slogan, even if you're writing, it should not be in Hindi. All of it should be in English. Uh, since you uh, know that PwC UK will be dealing with the UK office, right? So it has to be proper English. And layout does not matter much, like what formatting you have to follow. But then it should be good language, good, good grammatical usage. And then try to cover important points. And then uh, it's like a two-pager that they will ask you of one A4 sheet itself. So that is uh, your start. And then they may take you to breakfast or uh, they may... Uh, there only in office only they may ask you they may put in some breakfast and they may ask you to have breakfast for like an hour or so and then straight away after that they will have a group discussion so generally group discussions um there will be two to three group discussions and it will be an impromptu session so basically uh you they may divide you in groups and one uh, group will be having not more than six to eight candidates and there will be two one or uh, two to three invigilators or you can say uh people who will be examining you who will be sitting in the corners of the room and they will leave you six to eight people uh, all alone like you will be sitting in a round table they will give you a topic instantly 
and you will be given like five to six minutes to think over it and then you have to start so the group discussion can uh, be of approximately 10 to 15 minutes to 20 minutes not more than that um, now how to tackle group discussions for that what i will suggest you is uh, you can go through a different youtube uh, videos or uh, on aiforums.com that is our website you will also get certain uh, interview videos wherein uh, we have put in how uh, you should act in a group discussion so make sure you are participating you are putting in uh, important and good points you are not repeating anyone else's point if you are not able to generate any point then make sure you are um, at least uh, completing or concluding the entire meeting so uh, if try to be the one who starts the group discussion or the one who ends the group discussion even if you're not able to do that make sure you're giving good inputs and at the same time don't be very much arrogant to the person who's sitting in front of you or even if you don't if you are contradicting to their points then make sure you are contradicting in a very good way so that it does not look very arrogant and rude right and also you don't have to sit quietly you have to give certain inputs and do it in a very polite and soft manner at the same time be very firm with yourself now how to improve on it you have to obviously uh, go through uh, quite a few youtube videos wherein they have a lot of youtube videos there are uh, on how to participate in a group discussion also try talking to yourself and to your friends and um, at least in english till those days so that you become fluent while talking in english because it's important because obviously there also you will be talking in english right so you need to have a fluent accent uh, you may not be knowing a lot of uh, great words uh, your vocabulary may not be very great but then your speaking skills your communication skills should be very nice in english so make sure for coming few days whatever you have you are talking in english uh, in your mind also you're thinking in English so once you start thinking in English your English gets better your communication skills get better read books read latest information economic times the Hindu you can download their apps on the phone and you can try to uh, just to be updated to the current situation current news which is going on so there will be two rounds two to three rounds of group discussion now what they do is uh, this they did in one of the CFDs, uh, which is Career Focus Day, is that uh, in the second group discussion, what they did is that they straight away cut short in the middle the entire group discussion. They took some of the people, like there were if there were six people, they took three of them to the next group, and from this group they took three of them to the first group. So they interchanged three three people. Uh, and they gave a immediate situation. So uh, it's like a immediate situation which has come up in the office and how you have to respond to it. So it was that quick and you they were not given time to think maybe two to three minutes. And then you have to speak uh, and you have to discuss this important situation that has come up, right? So you what happens is that when your mind is working in one direction, uh, they suddenly ask you another question and now it has to work in another direction. So it takes a few minutes to sink in as to what is the new information that has come up, how to react to that and how to respond to that. So that also is a transformation phase. It takes a little bit of time to adjust. But what they are checking is not how, obviously they check how good your points are, but at the same time, they also see how you are reacting. Um, are you calm and composed at that particular point of time? Are you not nervous? Um, are you uh, behaving properly? Are you not getting tensed? Are you not getting hyper? So these small, small things is something that they check when you sit, like they interchange this group, okay? So this is something that they do. Uh, Again, after all these rounds, there is one quick five minutes session with the person who will assess you, who will tell you whether you have been selected for the next uh, round or not. So there they will 
tell you about your article, how your article you have written or how your group discussions went. And after that, there will be two rounds of personal interview. So the first round of personal interview is generally with a senior manager who's someone who's at a senior post. They may ask you a lot of questions. So it's like a 45 to one hour to it may exceed to 70 minutes of personal interview that you will have. Then they will be uh, asking you situational based questions. They will be giving you a lot of situations, how you have how you will react in a particular situation, what will be your decision in a particular situation. So those things and then um, they may ask you which event transform. So they may ask you a lot of questions to know about yourself and how you uh, have you know what you have done throughout this journey of your school and college life so questions like uh, any event which transformed you as a person or uh, any event uh, which made you more disciplined uh, any anything which you any group work which you did uh, and which had a good impact on you um, any team discussion any team project which you did any sole project which you have done if any so there will be a lot of things so uh have you taken uh, part in any extracurriculars have you um you know questions like tell me about yourself tell me about your family what your family members do what your brother does so basic basic and yet they just want to check they are not there to know your family history or your personal history. They want to know how you are as a person, how you communicate, um, you know, how you present yourself. Um, are you presentable? How you communicate? Are you able to communicate properly? Are you composed, calm? So all these different aspects. And at the same time, what other things you have done other than only studying? Um, there might be certain uh, interviewers which who may ask you about your papers as well. So if you say like I've cleared six, seven papers, five, six papers, whatever. So they may ask you some technical questions as well. So that's also a possibility, even if they tell you that uh, there is zero paper requirement, but they may ask you, they have done it in past. So for that, what do you have to do? Um, quickly revise or uh, go through all the papers that you have cleared so far. What I will suggest, I will write it down in the chat box. Uh, there is a website, aeiforums.com. Here you will get all the interview, like all the interview questions and summary of all the papers, like all the CMCS papers and CB papers. So what you all can do is uh, you all can visit this website and you can it will take two days. You will just go through all the uh, questions so that even if, for example, from CM1, they are asking you what are the different products or any such question, you are at least able to answer the basic ones. They will ask you the basic as well, basic questions only. So that's a 60 to 70 minutes of discussion that you will be having. Um, whenever you don't know any question, just make sure you are trying it at least for once and then you may admit that you do not know the question or whatever right so um that is how and then after that again there will be a selection round sort of some people who appeared for the personal interview with the senior manager will be appearing for the last interview with the director so that will be the director round the director usually it's the director who takes the last round and again it will be around 60 minutes of interview 40 to 60 minutes wherein uh some general questions will be there uh situational based will be a little bit less not a lot like in the first one it can be again they may ask you certain technical questions on the papers if you have cleared so make sure or if for example they may ask you if i have cleared five papers they may ask you which was your favorite paper so i say cm1 for example they will ask you questions from cm1 so make sure you have your pay favorite paper in your mind and take it take take the name of the paper which you think you can answer questions from easily right so more or less similar kind and it will be like a continuation so what they do is uh the person who took your interview in the first place they jot down a lot of points about you 
those points are sent to the director now the director will go through those points and ask you questions accordingly so don't uh, you know behave as if this director does not know about your previous interview that director knows about your previous interview about your group discussion about your article everything so that director has been given all the information they have gone through it and then they are asking you the questions so that is how it works so again you can go through a lot of youtube videos like five six youtube videos you feel like for how to conduct yourself in personal interviews how to behave and how to answer basic questions like tell me about yourself why pwc um any uh teamwork that i have done which changed my life or as in changed me as a person any event that changed me as a person any situation where i felt a little uncomfortable but then i have to go through it uh, so different situational questions they may they may put you in a situation wherein they may ask you like uh, you have an urgent work coming up um, you are in your office and about to leave and there is an urgent work that has come up and maybe um, you have to also go home and study for your exam that is coming up so how will you tackle such a situation so those type of questions don't be very much upfront as in i will be going home and studying or at the same time don't be overly enthusiastic and say that i will be delving into the entire urgent work you have to take a mid path right so uh maybe you can say that i will handle this urgent situation definitely which has come up in work uh i i will assign or i will i will not assign obviously i will be working on it with the team i will be making sure that the things are put in place and once it is in place and then i can go back and study at home so i will give that because that's an urgent situation which has come up it may be a one off opportunity for the company which may not come in future so be very you know not i will not say diplomatic but at the same time be very rational while answering your questions so uh, all this steps and then last round is a director round and then after that again um, it's over you come back home and then after like a month or so they will give you the results so this is the entire process that will take place what you have to do quickly uh um, make sure you go through all the questions on ai forums for whatever papers you have cleared secondly for group discussions make sure you go through a little like five four or five videos on youtube um for personal interview do the same and for article writing make sure you read uh economic times or hindu the hindu whatever whatever newspaper you feel like you can read it for the next few days like at least half an hour you should read newspaper so that you are also updated with the current affairs and at the same time when you read you also are able to understand how to write and what should be the language and everything try to start thinking in english and talking in english so that your communication improves so this is all what you have to do uh, you all can ask any questions we just have like 5 to 10 minutes so quickly i can answer anyone has any question any question no manan no question manan pushya suesha there are so many of you okay oh, ma'am yeah ma'am uh, i just had one question do we need to carry our personal laptop if you want you can carry it but uh, they they i don't think they have asked you to but if you want you can carry it or uh, in your backpack no issues you should have it at least you know if there is something that comes up but over there you will not need anything they will ask you if you need it so i don't think they have asked you now okay. uh, don't uh, acha one more thing um, in both the personal interviews they will ask towards the end they may say that they may ask you to ask a question to them so make sure you don't ask any stupid question now suppose asha has mentioned how many students get selected at the end this is something that depends on the company sometimes they may take 15 people 10 people 11 people 9 people depending on their requirements so it's not a fixed number i cannot tell that 
and also they will also not be knowing at that point and also please don't ask this question it does not look good uh, when you sit down in the director round and at the end you are asking the director that how many students will be getting selected it's not a good question or don't ask questions like how my interview went this is a this is not at all a good question to ask so at the end they will tell you that um, ask any question you are open for that please don't ask these so stupid questions um questions like uh, how was your experience in pwc or in any company they are working in um how it has been for you uh acha they may ask you questions like where do you see yourselves in 5 years uh in terms of the company and personal like on the personal front so make sure you prepare these common questions beforehand right now coming back to this pushya uh for example they may ask you uh to ask a question you can ask them um like try to be innovative try to find i am not able to uh get a, get questions but yeah you can ask them how has been your experience in the company or um what what can i expect uh, if i if i get selected like what kind of roles i can expect something like this which is uh, it's like a it it maybe it it is good it is not something which is uh, critical or something which is of decisive nature like how many students will get selected or when will i get my result or how my interview went no these questions they will not tell you right now right so it can be anything related to general life any question that you will ask a random senior person who is like 20 to 30 years 20 not 20 yeah 20 like 15 20 years senior to you so such kind of questions okay so you can come up uh, now there are like 30 people here so please don't ask one question all 30 of you so make sure you come up with your own good questions uh newspapers generally i mentioned economic times the hindu any one you can take up and read money control also but money control is like uh, articles are very much related to finance you can i think economic times is very good papers you can do that economics some anything any finance i think there is one paper telegraph also you can read the hindu is very good their english is very nice so you can read those papers can yeah rashi definitely you can ask this question what my day will look like or what roles i can expect or what i can expect once i if i get selected and yeah these kind of questions what will be the study policy like so i think this is something which you already know study policy so don't ask this but yeah good questions okay anything else try to also be very calm okay don't get a lot of don't get nervous also don't gossip with people around you so you may think that you know this particular student is also sitting for the interview and you may end up gossiping with them so please don't do that once you enter the premise make sure you are you put on that particular behavior right a proper formal friendly smiling behavior it should not be like gossiping and all those stuff how okay someone who is leaving the room you are asking them how your interview went no they are observing everything that you do over there so don't ask these kind of questions okay uh but otherwise those people are really friendly they will be really nice to you any other question you all have no okay so uh, all the best all of you uh you all can let me know how your day went uh, over there and yeah i have given you all the suggestions that you have to follow thank you thank you